The weakest spot, numbers 24 and 327 in the Rules for Discernment of Spirits. Ignatius was fully aware of how the evil spirit, whom he calls Lucifer, always or, or constantly tempts an individual. The devil always looks out for the greatest weak spot within a person, or in other words, the greatest weakness in an individual. And he keeps on constantly pounding on that weakness. That weakness which may be moral, spiritual, or a theological error. That those vulnerable areas are the ones the devil keeps constantly pounding. What do I mean by pounding? Constantly tempting you on. He tempts you in those areas because you are vulnerable in those areas. I like to call this vulnerable area my root sin because all my faults against charity seem to emerge from that one weakness, that one root sin. All right? And it is because of that root sin I keep falling into the small imperfections time and again. Now, this basic root sin could be pride, jealousy, envy, revenge, greed, Root sins are what we call something very similar to what we call capital sins. I don't want to use the word mortal sins, but it's from these root sins that the other small imperfections seem to emerge. If you discover what your root sin is, then you can keep a tab on that root sin. Root sin. Because you know that the devil or the evil spirit is constantly lurking around that weakness of yours. Ignatius puts this very clearly to us. He tells us that this is the subject I need to take up in the particular exam. Remember and check twice a day your root sin. And then you will say, yes. Everything emerges from that. Most of the time, it is pride or it is jealousy. So keep a tab. Are you aware of what your root sin is? What is the negative force that's driving you towards the small imperfections in everyday living? If you haven't discovered that, make an effort to discover it and it will help you to move toward freedom. Thank you.